Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's what's going on? Good evening. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Yes, we are. Let's do it. I have hiccups. <laughs> Did you finish the the section one, two, and three? Yes. yes. Okay. So today we're going to get started with section number four. There we go. Section four, wh whose genes are these? We're gonna get started from this section right here. Whose genes are these? Did everybody finish the midterm exam? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so in this class, we will, we will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly cl clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. Listen, please. side are ones towards the right hand side clothes for leisure let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary clothes pants suit coat shoes Blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap. T-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so for this acti for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to write at least 10 
sentences. Similar a tie to for right work. Here. I, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts to the park. I, I wear a suit for work. I wear pajamas to sleep. You're going to write at least 10 sentences here in the discussion forum. 10 sentences here in the discussion forum. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? What are you going to do? You're going to write 10 sentences right, right here in the discussion forum using I wear, the clothes, and for the activity, for work, for the park, for sleep, etc. You have 10 minutes, 10 minutes, starting right, right now, 10 minutos. Ready, let's go. No. Okay, write it on the on the discussion forum.
Is everybody finished? Okay, now we are going to practice in, in pairs. All right, let's go in pairs. Hola, me escucha.
Hola, ¿me escucha? Hola. 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 Hola, buenas noches. Hola. No le escuchaba, no sé eh, qué acabamos de, qué, qué tenemos que hacer porque me acabo de unir. Igual yo me acabo de unir porque me estaba dando problemas al inicio. Y de allí no me, no me, no pude ver las indicaciones. No sé exactamente qué están haciendo. Ah, bueno, entonces yo acabo de consultar ahí, pero no sé. Ajá, yo soy, la única indicación que vi yo es que para lo, de lo, para lo del vocabulario de la ropa y todo eso teníamos que hacer como, como 10 ejemplos. Eso alcancé a ver y ya de ahí ya no. Bueno, tenemos No sé si eso estarán practicando, pero yo escucho que hablan también y no sé. Pero no escucho nada más. All right, everybody, I see that almost everybody is finished. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. We're going to be looking at section number 4.2 lesson objective in this class you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life listen to the conversation please uh they're mine sorry what i would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation if you have a partner with whom you can practice with that will be great if it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Okay, so now what I would like for you to do is I want you to practice the conversation in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. Vamos a practicar la conversación en parejas. Let's go.
Is everybody finished? Are you guys finished? Yes. Okay, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Raise your hand. Two volunteers that want to practice the conversation. Let me have Eric and Carla. Eric and Carla. Eric, you can be Pat. And Carla, you can be Julie. Okay, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Eric can be Pat. Eric, are you there? Okay, we see that probably Eric, does, this microphone's not working. Uh, Mari, do you want to practice? Mari? Hello. Okay, so we're gonna have Mari and Carla. Hi. Hello. The color Hello. Okay, Mari, you're going to be Pat. Carla is Julie. Go ahead. Ambas practicamos. Sí, las dos. Ok. Carla. Hola. Hello. Hello. Usted es Pat, yo soy Julie. That's right. Ok. Grads or clothes are green. Where is my new clothes? What color is it? It is white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not my white. It's, it's my. It is a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. It is this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. All right, good job, guys. Uh, repeat after me, please. Dry. 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 It, it, se escribe dry. con Y, pero se pronuncia como una A. Dry. 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 Okay. dry. Y también la palabra great. Repeat. Great. 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 Uh -huh. great. Así. I see. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good, girls. Uh, go ahead, Carla. I want you to select somebody. Carla, select somebody. And uh, Grismeri, select somebody, please. Um, um, Vane Mendoza. Okay. Vane Mendoza and... ¿Quién más? Chris Mary, select somebody, Chris Mary. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, sí. Chris Mary y Vanessa. Chris Mary y Vanessa. Eh, Chris Mary, usted va a hacer la parte de Pat. Y Julie va a ser la parte de Vanessa. Ready? Go ahead. Pueden empezar. Greg, or clock or dry? Where is my neat blues? Solamente que habíamos dos Vanessa, no sé cuál de las dos sería, perdón. Uh, Vanessa sería Julie, la parte de Julie. No, por eso, pero es dos Vanessa, soy Mendoza, está bien que lo haga yo. 
Ah, sí, porque como... Ajá, sí, sí, está bien, está bien. Ah, bueno, está bien. En la parte de Juni, permítame. Um, what color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. It, is it yours? No, no. It's not mine. Why? It is mine. It's disaster. Oh no, all your clothes are light blue. Has the problem. Okay. Is this neck blue blue jeans? Good mm. yeah, good are they? Oh, there's mine. Sorry. All right. Good job. Excellent. Uh, just uh, repeat after me, please. Mine. 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 Se escribe con I, pero se pronuncia como A. Mine. 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 Ok, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a hacer una conversación similar a esta y la vamos a escribir aquí en la discussion forum. Va a escribir una, una conversación similar, solo le puede cambiar, por ejemplo, blouse, que puede ser um, t-shirt o white, puede ser blue, puede cambiarle las, las prendas o le puede cambiar eh, los colores. <coughs> y vamos a describir el diálogo aquí abajo en el discussion forum. Así similar a este, pero aquí abajo lo van a escribir. Los voy a poner en parejas. Cada quien lo tiene que hacer en su propia plataforma, obviamente. Vamos a trabajar en parejas para ayudarnos, pero cada quien lo tiene que hacer en la plataforma. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Ten minutes. You have ten minutes. Ten minutes. Eh, Danilo y Andrés Cepeda, ¿estás ahí, Andrés? Hola, hola. Eh, te voy a poner en pareja con eh, Jenny en el 7. Ok. Tienes que darle a ingresar a sesión privada. Uh, make a conversation, right? Yes. Pat, I am Pat and you, Julie, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Danilo, vamos a poner aquí Danilo. Yes. Okay. Ya escribí, Danilo. ¿Ya estás en la plataforma? No, 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 no. Ay, estoy entrando, estoy entrando. Hola, ¿me Hola. escucha? Sí, 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 estoy aquí. Ok, eh, deme un segundito que estoy entrando Ay, a la plataforma. Entra. Take it sí. easy. <risa> <risa> hello, hello. Hello. Hello, bro. Hello, Danilo. What's... Entrela. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Bueno, entonces yo diría, 
great. All clothes are dry. Where is my t-shirt? Después Rosaura sería... What color is it? Y después sería Mari. 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 ¿Lo escribimos o le cambiamos? Ah, bueno, sí, Yo lo voy escribiendo para que nos quede. En la, en la sí. plataforma. Creo que ahí tendría que contestar usted también, Vanessa, porque la pregunta es como, ¿dónde está mi, mi camiseta? Camiseta. Y ahí yo le preguntaría uh -huh. qué color es, usted respondería qué color es. Y de ahí en la siguiente de Yuli la podría hacer Mary. Por... No, a black t-shirt. Ah, oh, uh -huh. here's a black t-shirt. Solo que tiene, déjame ver. ¿Qué prenda puede utilizar? Uh, puede usar, creo ver. Pants, eh, short, camisa. Sí. A ver, sí. Vestido. Ajá, también. que se estaba viendo se utilizaba un vestido que es mm. sí se puede usar también vestido y como está un poco mal a la señal sí siempre falla siempre falla yo he, he tenido problemas estas últimas clases con eso mismo. Entonces me incorporé un poco tarde. <risa> Yo ya empecé que me me, me, me me incorporaba a la hora, pero cuando estaba en la clase se me, me salía y me entraba y así estaba. Es que como ya empezó la temporada de lluvia. No, no. Uh -huh. Siguen ahí. Sí. Yes. Juanjo, dígame la ropa más nueva que tengo. Uh, shirt, a red shirt, de hecho, una camisa roja. Permítanme. Ok, me avisa. Porque ahí donde, where is my new blues, puede, podemos, puede poner dress. O ya que puede poner esto en el color 
puede poner en rojo. O ahí se puede ir. Podemos ir cambiando las cosas. Ahí me avisa. ¿Por dónde vaya? Podemos eh, practicar con nuestra oración. Tengo hasta donde dice la parte de, la tercera parte de Pat. No sé si usted terminó o, o, o podemos. No, ahí voy, esto. pero sí, también podemos improvisar, no hay problema. Ok, vaya. Eh, Sí, porque si no, no va a ser larga la, la hora. Solo voy a terminar esta de... Esta. Ya, ya le aviso para que practiquemos, por favor. Vaya. Bueno, aunque el teacher creo que no dijo de practicar, ¿verdad? Sino que solamente de hacer las oraciones, ¿verdad? Creo y hoy también practicar si se podía. Pero si gusta, veamos que tenemos hasta el momento. Ahorita voy donde Porque... dice Yuli. Oh, oh, no. Porque yo lo que he ah, hecho... Ah, ya es... terminó. Ya terminó el tiempo. Va. Sí. All right, all right. Let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Okay, Nancy, volunteer. Go ahead, Nancy. ¿Con quién trabajó usted, Nancy? Con Jenny. Con Wendy. Okay, vamos a trabajar Nancy y Wendy. Nancy y Wendy. ¿Nos pueden eh, compartir su diálogo, por favor? Ok. Ok. Eh, great. All clothes are dry. Where is my new pants? Permito. Okay. ¿Me puedes repetir la pregunta de nuevo, por favor? Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new pants? What color is 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 red? Mm -hmm. It's it's, it's blue. Okay. Um, no, it's not my, but my is a 
Oh no, all clothes are red. Mm -hmm. Ahora usted. Ok. There's the problem is this black thing, gold thing. Are they? Oh no, they are mine. Sorry. All right. Good job, mm -hmm. Nancy and Wendy. Okay, guys, now we are going to move forward and continue with the next activity, yes, no which is 4.4 in this class. You will learn how to use possessives in order to describe belongings of things. This is for possessives. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object 
is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay, guys. So this is going to be your homework. Esta va a ser su tarea. Va a darme por lo menos 10 oraciones aquí en el discussion forum utilizando los possessive adjectives. Usted puede elijar el que quiera usar. Y los va a escribir acá. Por ejemplo, my t-shirt is red, Jenny's dress is purple, my father's tie. Pero van a usar el his, el hers y el mine. Y lo vamos a escribir acá. Uh, Vanessa levantó la mano. Eh, sí, ese hers, ¿en qué momento se puede ocupar? ¿Siempre o solo para ciertas ocasiones? Porque no lo había escuchado anteriormente. Así, el hers es como cuando nosotros decimos de ella. Eh, esa cartera es de ella. That purse is hers. Y para decir de él es his. That t-shirt is his. Es el contrario del his. Es del her, es de la mujer. Sí, pero terminado en S, no hay problema de usarlo en cualquier momento. Eh, sí, tiene que ir cuando lo usas como al final de la oración. Ah, lo okay. puedes usar al inicio de la oración. Uh -huh. eh, Mari, yes. Mari levantó la mano. 
Sí, sí, teacher, este, me podría explicar sobre la tarea que se me cortó un poquito. Sí, van a escribir por lo menos 10 oraciones utilizando uh -huh. los possessive adjectives. El mine, hers, her, his, our, los que están uh -huh. en el video. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Gracias. Eso Thank sería. you. Ok. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good, Good night. night. See you guys. Good night, teacher. Right, See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you.